Hello everyone. Today we're starting a new series. This is Fallout 3. But it's not your typical Fallout 3 Let's Play, where people, you know, they go start on the vault and they go through all the levels and do all the side quests and stuff. We're going to play things slightly differently. So uh, this is our character, as you can see here. His name is, well you can't see it very well, you'll see it better later. But his name is Hor uh, Marshall Horace. Now, we're using quite a few mods in this to liven the experience and make it more, you know, much more tougher to play. So it's very easy for us to die. And this is going to be one of the kind of crucial bits of the series, is that when our character dies, he is dead. That's it, gone, forever. Now unless it's like some stupid bug thing that killed us, then obviously we'll go back. But if it's just, you know, casual fight and we get shot, and sadly that we get hit in the head and we die, then that's it. He, uh, Marshall will no longer be among the living, and the series will end. Well, maybe not the series, but at least this character. So, uh, it's going to be a tough playthrough, I have to be careful. Now, we're not going to be playing as the Vault Dweller either. Using some mods, we have something called the Alternative Star, and it allows us to get very in-depth with the character a bit more. So we can select how much special you know points we start off with, and we're just going to get special enough. Now, the idea I have for this character is he's going to be a regulator, if you if you know what those are, or if you're familiar with the Fallout universe, that's good. But if you don't, they're pretty much like very good karma people, and they're kind of like sheriffs in the old Wild West. And you'll read, I'll show you a description soon. Don't worry. But uh, our character, he's, he's not very lucky. He's had some bad time. He is very um, charismatic though, because everyone loves a person who's always looking out for them, and he's very perceptive. Uh, many years out in the uh, the wasteland have taught him to look out for certain stuff. So uh, what's next on here to choose? Ah yes, our tag skills. So if you've ever played Fallout 3 or any of the Fallout games, you have your skills. Determine how good you are at certain stuff. And they affect a lot on the game. Especially with the uh, mod pack I have. And you'll be able to see all the mods I'm playing by the way. I'll put a list, on this, a list of them in the description. So uh, our character, Regulator, always hunting down the bad guys, so he's got some small gun skills. Think revolver sort of stuff, because you know he is a cowboy essentially. <laughs> and you know, he he got some speech skill. Not too bad, but you know, they're alright. And he's obviously had some he's had a bit of medical chain and help keep him alive out in the uh, wasteland. Um or do we want speech or do we want repair? Yeah. He doesn't have much time to speak, and he's too busy killing uh, raiders. So he's got some repair skills, he managed to keep his uh, firearms in good condition throughout his time in the wasteland. So we'll click done that. Right. Okay, skill advancement. We'll just set this to uh, default. This isn't anything important here. This is just how many skill points we start off with, and how many we get every time we go up a level. So uh, this is going to choose our current occupation. And this regulate uh, this decides where we start and the starting equipment and gives us perks and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to be choosing the regulator one. And it says you've spent most of your life tracking and hunting evil throughout the wastelands. You've become adaptive, reacting quickly to dangerous situations when enacting the value the rule of law. So we get plus fifteen action points for that. Heavy firepower usually leaves the suspect in poor condition, and your training is limited with those weapons. So you won't see us using big guns like mini guns and rocket launchers. We, you know, we want to keep our victim in decent condition so that we can bring back the head and get our bounty. So uh, part of being part choosing the regulator is we get added to the faction, the regulator faction. So any enemies they have are our enemies, and any friends they have, they're our friends. And we start with the Lawbringer perk, which means that any bad guy we kill will drop a finger usually. Which we can take back to the regulator's HQ and swap out for bottle caps, which are the primary currency in this game. Now that's all of them, I think. Yep. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to sleep and we're going to respawn, or we will spawn at the regulator's HQ. Now before we go that, I'll just talk about exactly what we're going to be doing. As I mentioned, we won't be doing the main quest so much, or probably not at all. So uh, what we'll be doing is we'll just be, you know, clearing out raider camps, maybe doing a few side quests there, here and there to help out the local populations of towns, um, that kind of stuff. And one of the mods is, oh, they have like survival things added to them. So we will need to eat, so we have to make sure we have food. It's not too bad, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Our primary concern with this is that we will get shot and die, and 
Yeah. So weapon damages have been tweaked, so guns do a lot more damage, and we could easily be put down in two shots, or maybe even one, if we're very unlucky. So without further ado, I think it's time we have a little nap. Alright then, here we are. I skipped the loading screen. Just, you know, didn't want you guys waiting around. So, uh, here we are at the regulators. Ugh. I'm gonna just enable that. Here we are at the regulators HQ. Very, very luxurious place, is it not? So here is our character, fully outfitted with all the starting regulator equipment. Have a laser rifle. Or pistol, sorry. And we have our uh, duster. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, go into the HQ and say hello to the leader. And she's pretty much going to officially join us to the regulators. Uh, that's not her. I think she's upstairs. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what there you're she doing. Is. I'm guessing that you've come about the... You're not we bad have. people from what yeah, I Yeah, we'll just so skip through this because uh, technically, Fantastic. ideally, we were like, already part of it. So pretty much what we do, she said there, is that welcome to regulators. If you find any fingers off of raiders, bring them here and we'll swap them out for whatever. So anything in this the regulators place we can take. So uh, free of charge, it doesn't really matter, no one cares, because we're a member. So we're going to grab all this food here, because we're going to need that for the road. Got some places to do, and I think there's some ammo downstairs. So uh, let's go check that out, shall we? Oh, we don't want a combat knife, it's not worth it. Oh, oh. A bobby pin, not particularly useful, but okay. Seeing as we're not really going to be doing that stuff so much, we'll take that morphine. Now, you're going to see loads of items if you've only just played uh, the normal vanilla um, Fallout. Because of these mod adds so much. The, uh, I'm trying to think, it's called the uh, Fallout Wanderers Edition. And it makes the game really hard and adds tons of new items and ammo and stuff. So, and weapons. So you may see a few glitches from that, but that's it. So, uh, first of all, I'm actually, I'm going to save quickly, so I'll come back when it's done saving. And I'm also going to test the sound levels to make sure everything's alright. And then we're going to carry on our venture in the wasteland. Okay, so we're back, and uh, sound levels are alright. I have turned them down just a little bit, uh, the game, because the when we get into combat, things get very loud. Right, so uh, let's take a look at the map and see where we're at. World map. Okay, so we're up here in the world map. Uh, if you start Fallout, you start oh, right there, Fault 101, and Megaton's around there. And we're going to try and aim for Megaton. We're going to kind of go around this path. But there is one thing we need to do first of all. Um, briefly. Now right over there, there's a massive raider's camp. Now we're definitely not well armed enough to uh, raid the whole place. But there's usually a person right there for an extra weapon. So if we can kill her, or him, and run her. I'm not sure if there's any other people there though, so I don't, I don't know. I think he saw me. Yep. Ah, awesome. Done. And I did forget to set up the immersive AI, so I'll actually do that now. So one of these mods I have is the immersive AI. I'm trying to... F oh, it's... Yeah, hold on. No, that's not the right button. I think it was this. There we go. Okay, so we want fade away up. Mm. No, I don't want fade away options. I want activation options. So, generally, you don't need the hit points all the time. So, we really want only want them on when in combat and below 50%. So, uh, that's good actually. Action points. Action points are the same. Crosshair. We also want that when the uh, we right click just to make things easier, and obviously when combat's on. And the sneak meter. Um, yeah, just leave it like that. Okay, so that's it. So uh, let's go for it. Let's go loot that guy. So now, whenever combat starts, the rest of the HUD will start appearing. So uh, we know actually when combat starts. If we've been spotted from a sneak. Now we do have awful sneaks, so we probably will be spotted. Right, let's see, that was a good shot. Nothing too bad. Now you see we've got finger there. We just take these back to the that person we we're talking to earlier. Can't remember her name. And she'll swap it for a few bottle caps. Not very many, so we'll just ignore that for now and come back when we have a lot more. 
So uh, let's see. Anything interesting? Let them vault tech. Let's uh, take a peek here. What this note is. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's nothing interesting there. Um, pretty much, it's a letter, an old letter saying that uh, you haven't gained entrance to the vaults. Now, if you've never played Fallout or understand anything about Fallout, there was a nuclear disaster, and this is a post-apocalyptic world. And there are these things called vaults that would save people and stuff like that. And we, in the actual game, you play the Vault Dweller, who is a descendant from someone who managed to escape from the vault. And the game's set about 500 years after the massive war that destroyed everything. Um, I won't really go much into depth with that kind of stuff, or story stuff. You can kind of do that by yourself. There's uh, great resources online. But, you know, if we come across some like interesting Fallout stuff I might mention, who knows? We'll see. Now, I have played Fallout a fair bit in my time, so I do remember where most of the, well, a fair few of the places are, and what lurks in them. But, so I was walking down here earlier, and just to test it out, make sure it wasn't going to crash or anything. Now, if I remember correctly, this down there is a death claw. Now, obviously, we are nowhere near equipped enough. Now, I think it's down there. I'm not sure. If anyone can confirm. Oh, no, no, no. That is, uh, is that Paradise Falls? No, it's not Paradise Falls. Paradise Falls is, uh... Paradise Falls is where a bunch of slavers live, and I think it's more over here somewhere. Up there. Ish. Maybe. I might be wrong, though. Can't quite tell. There's certainly something there. But, uh... We're not going to risk it now, because we've just got absolutely nothing. So we really want to get to Megaton. And safely. And, we, you know, do a few things around there, just to... Build up our equipment so we can start challenging, uh, start tempting these harder level stuff, I guess. So we're just slowly now. Let's see, where are we on the map? Uh, we're get, not going the right way at all. So we need to slowly skirt around this and look out for anything we could possibly loot. And also look out for any uh, bad guys. Or even good guys might be good. Hmm. There's going to be a lot of work uh, walking, so uh, get used to that. Oh, we've got a mole right up ahead. There we go. Now, if you look at how much ammo we have, we don't have very much. Oh, and we gained a level. Let's grab that more right meat. Okay, so we've got 12 points. Now, I reckon we should increase our energy weapons, because we're going to be using those a little bit. But the rest, I think we're going to put straight into our small guns. So the moment we get a pistol, we're going to be really good at it. So, uh, let's see. Now, I think... We definitely want gun that. So this will give us um, extra 5 points to our small guns, and 5 points to our repair skill, which will be very useful. Can you... Oh, we can't go in there. Oh, right, we're going to die now. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> hmm. And we've frozen. Oh no, we haven't. I pressed Tilda. Okay. Oh, we're gonna die. Well, Horace didn't live very long, did he? Quickly inject two, and I haven't got anything to fix our crippled state, so uh, we can't sprint because I got sprinting mod. Now, if there's somewhere we can go inside, we'll go inside. I reckon there's even more bad guys over there as well. Oh, hello. Mm. Well, that didn't go. We're going to die. Uh. No. Okay, because it was so early, I think... And you can see it was really easy to die. So, but as it was so early, we're you know we'll carry on with our character because we didn't get anywhere. So uh, we won't actually go that way this time. We'll go the other way around. So here we are again. 
Uh, so we need to go kill that guy with the hunting rifle. Hmm. Let's see if we can do it without f with only firing one shot. But yeah, see that's how dangerous combat is. We can get screwed over just like that and it will be the end. Right, so we're going to the first person. Oh, we've seen us. Hmm. Oh, oh, damn it, gun. We didn't kill him, did we? Right. So this is that, by the way. You saw me do it just before. So pretty much we stopped time and we got a chance to hit these people. Got a good chance there. Problem is that if there's a lot of people near you, you don't want to use it because you you kind of freeze in place as you'll see now. And we still can be vulnerable in this mode. So we might have just gotten shot there. And this scene lasts forever sometimes. Oh, we didn't get shot. But uh, that scene can last forever and then you can just die during that scene. Which you will probably see. Anyway, let's get out of here before anyone else shows up. So actually while we're there, let's, uh, let's mark you down as our number two. Ooh, we got more ammo for that. Actually, that's good. And we're, we'll equip our hunting rifle. So actually, how much are those worth? Not very much. So now we've got a nice long range weapon. Nice good rifle. And this does a pretty decent amount of damage and it's fairly accurate, though our skills are pretty bad. I'm not sure what condition is it. Well, it's not in too bad a condition compared to the, most of the weapons we will find on our journey. So that's good, we've got that going for us. So we're, we'll go around, we'll go the other way around this time and hope we don't run into the, uh, the Talon mercenary people. That was that was bloody unlucky. I've never uh, run into them before, right at the start of the game. Especially a group that big. But uh, that is the wasteland. Um, so I think we're going to be missing that mower at this time, which is a shame. Because that didn't give us an extra level. Nice, nice sunny day today. Okay, let's see. Oops. Are we in combat? We must be. Oh, my settings not set. No, my settings aren't set, I don't think. Okay. Um. No, that's set. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Just press the wrong button. Oops, don't want to get stuck in those rocks there. Hmm. So I really think that actually might be Paradise Falls. Actually, I know, it's not Paradise, it's definitely not Paradise Falls. Yeah. Because that is open. You can get to that inside. Without going through a uh, gate kind of instance thing. But I can't remember what's there. So I don't want to... I think that's where Deathclaw is. Ooh, Chinese radio beacon found. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Um. I've never encountered that before, especially here. I don't see anyone. Let's, uh... No, uh, mosey on to the radio. Hmm. Whoa. That kind of made me jump a little bit. <laughs> bison, bison, bison. 
As in, like, the buffalo bison thing. And we lost the signal. Let's just check the back of this van. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Oh, they're both empty. Ooh, frag grenades, very handy. And some mines, those can be very useful if used correctly. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in these... Anything of use or value in these boxes. That's quite disappointing. I was hoping to see if we can get some extra ammo there. But, uh, you know, grenades are good enough. They do a lot of damage, especially mines. If used correctly. Right, so we want to head this way. So that's Springvale School. We're actually. Let's see. How much ammo do we have for this again? We do also have this one. So, And we've got a fair bit of ammo. We'll tag the laser there. So these are hotkeys so we can quickly get to equipment. And we'll put forward the grenade. Now, I do know over in that building there is where some uh, raiders are living. And there's a bunch of them on the outside and the rest live on the inside. Now, I'm not entirely sure we're equipped enough to get them in the inside, the inside ones, but we should be able to kill the people that are outside. There's not many and they're pretty prim uh, primitively armed. Oh, hello Mr. Robot. Now there is some radaway down there, but there's a lot of radiation, so it's not really worth it, at least at this stage. I also want to stay away from that. Oh, no, I don't. This is the one up here I want to stay away from. Right, sneaky dome. Let's get our rifle out. And uh, let's look out for uh, some raiders. Now, this will be our first proper kind of clean out, almost. Quiet so far. And there's our level up. And we're in combat. Let's so just pull out that. I think if we're going to get close, we're going to blast them with this. Who's out there? Okay, he's right above us. Time to tear you apart. Oops, that was one extra shot than needed. Okay, we can, we're going to go into bullet time, if we see another one come out there. Bullet time! Ow, we got hit with that wretch. I don't think dead yet. So we, we can go into bullet time, it's a new thing that's a mod, but it uses up our action points. Ah, there we go. Not the best of timing. So, we'll put in a few points to there. And we'll throw the rest into here again. Oh, uh, not science. Small guns, there we go. Okay, cool. And gun that, same as before. I think that's all of them. That's good. Got hunting rifle so we can repair our stuff. And we've got some a few bottle caps there. Um most of the stuff isn't worth carrying. Where's your finger? There it is. Okay, cool. Actually that tire iron could make us some money. Not much, but a little bit. Considering how bad our bartering skill is. Hmm. And there's usually a few things upstairs. Now I grab those things and I think we will call it a day. And then tomorrow, after we've. Uh, or the next time I record. Or play, whatever. Um, we will. Oh, cool. Nuka Cola. Need that. We will head into Magaton and we'll talk to the sheriff there. And we will probably see about disarming the. Uh, the massive weapon that is sitting in Megaton. Which you all get to see soon. I'm sure most of you know what it is. If you play this game, you definitely will. Some bot caps. Now, there's usually not much here. Hmm. Those are worth it. You find darts everywhere and they stack up in the end. Nice bit of extra cash. Okay, 
Cool, so that's everything. Now, so we go there, we do a mission or two, and then later on we're going to go in here and clear this place out. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it so far. I will see you later. Bye-bye.